Japan is facing an outbreak of streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, caused by a flesh-eating bacteria that can kill within 48 hours. Nearly 1,000 cases have been reported by the start of June. Experts warn cases could reach 2,500 this year, with a 30% mortality rate. Streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, caused by group A streptococcus, is a severe condition with a high mortality rate, earning it the nickname, flesh-eating bacteria, in Japan. According to Japan's National Institute of Infectious Diseases, early symptoms include sore throat, fever, loss of appetite, digestive issues, and low blood pressure, rapidly progressing to soft tissue damage, respiratory failure, liver and kidney failure, and multi-organ failure within 24 to 48 hours. In Japan, streptococcal toxic shock syndrome cases have surged by 60% this year, attributed to the highly virulent M1UK strain of Group A streptococcus. From June 3 to 9, the average number of Group A streptococcus pharyngitis cases was about three times higher than the same period in 2023, indicating a widespread outbreak. Group A streptococcus generally causes milder illnesses such as strep throat, impetigo, and scarlet fever, but streptococcal toxic shock syndrome represents its most severe form. The severity of streptococcal toxic shock syndrome is attributed to an excessive immune response to Group A streptococcus toxins, potentially leading to acute respiratory distress syndrome and other complications. Streptococcal toxic shock syndrome spreads through respiratory droplets and contact with infected wounds primarily affecting adults over 30. In Japan, the number of infections among individuals over 50 has increased this year, with a particularly significant rise in cases among those over 70, compared to previous years. High-risk groups include individuals with ulcerative skin diseases, recent surgical patients, diabetics, alcoholics, and frequent users of painkillers or nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Early detection and treatment are crucial due to streptococcal toxic shock syndrome's rapid progression. Severe limb pain, significant throat pain, high fever, delirium, or rapidly spreading redness and swelling around a wound require immediate medical attention. Preventive measures such as regular hand washing and mask wearing can reduce the risk. Treatment typically involves penicillin antibiotics, with clindamycin recommended for managing septic shock symptoms. Syndrome's rapid progression is vital for effective prevention and treatment. Recognizing symptoms early and adopting preventive measures can significantly reduce severe outcomes. Stay informed, practice good hygiene, and seek prompt medical care if an infection is suspected.